Ever since I made my best recording settings for OBS, a lot of people have been asking me what are the best export settings for Premiere Pro or whatever software you use. Well, I use Premiere Pro and today I'm going to show you what are the best export settings I personally use for 2K videos and 1080p videos. You guys don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Now, let me show you what are the best export settings for Premiere Pro. First things first, what we have to do is go to our Adobe Premiere Pro, obviously, import one video, just put it in our sequence, and then go to File, and then Export Media. That's one way to open up the export settings. I'm using 2023 version of Premiere Pro. Even if you're using the older versions, these settings are pretty much the same. So what you have to do over here, I have a preset already set up. I'll choose it right now and then I'll go over the settings around it. So I have two presets that I primarily use. One is for videos that have a lot of motion, like gameplay or stuff like that. And the other one is just where I talk like this and it doesn't have to have a lot of bitrate. So I'm going to show you the settings for, you know, the static kind of videos and the videos that have a lot of motion. So these ones, the, the it's called Reaction 1440p. It's because it's primarily just my camera, just like this. It's like a how-to video, doesn't require a lot of movement, so it doesn't have to be that much in size and doesn't have to be that much in bitrate. First setting we're going to be changing is the format. So in format, we're going to choose H264, and then we're going to go around the other settings. Right, so for our video settings right here, we're going to be using the frame size. It's going to be our default frame size. So if you're recording 2K, it's going to be 2K. If you're recording 1080p, it's going to be 1080p. 60, that's totally fine frame rate. If you're uh, recording in 30, then keep that in 30. Uh, field order progressive and then square pixels 1.0. We're not touching any of that. Keep it default as you're recording. So go to more and then over here, we're going to change a lot of different stuff. So first, render at maximum depth. Always you want the highest quality. Why not enable that? Enable use maximum render quality as well. Again, you want the highest quality. Enable that. Uh, render alpha channel only. We don't want that. That's for like transparent videos. No touching that. Uh, time interpolation. We're doing frame sampling. Uh, encoding settings. We're doing hardware encoding because we're using our hardware, our GPU. Uh, or our CPU, and then profile, we set it to high, uh, level is 5.2, uh, and then over here, HDR graphics, I have it set to, you know, the default 203, I'm pretty sure that's default, I didn't touch any of that stuff, and then when we scroll down, you can choose your bitrate settings, these are the most important, this is the most important thing to change, right now, I'm using a VBR one pass at 10 megabits, so as I said, this video doesn't have a lot of motion. It's just me talking just like this, where nothing's really happening. Like, you know, nothing crazy is happening. So we keep it at VBR one pass at 10 bit rate. For the other videos, if I go to my other, uh, you know, preset that I personally use for like gameplay, uh, I can go right here. And then I have VBR uh, two pass at 50 megabits and maximum bit rate at 60. So these are the only differences between those two presets for, you know, a, a high movement and low movement is the bitrate. So if I have a lot of movement like in Tarkov or any other game that has a lot of graphics and a lot of, you know, pixels around it, you want to have it looking smooth AF. So target bitrate 50 and maximum bitrate 60. Hello guys, Future Asian here. I totally forgot to say, if you're recording in 1080p, this target bitrate is a bit too high. So you can go for something like 20 and 30 or even lower go for something like 10 and 20 that's way more than enough for 1080p recording again the size of the video will obviously be much larger as you can see right here this one you know for a four minute video is going to be one gig 1.6 gigs right here if i choose my other preset it's going to be only 300 megabytes so that's a big difference again if you don't have a lot of movement there's no point of you using two pass when you can just use one pass right here cbr is something else i personally don't use it i find vbr to be the best and then around the other settings you know the audio we choose audio format aac uh, and then audio uh, codec right here aac again uh, sample rate 48,000. There is 44,100, but that's pretty old. You want the highest quality audio, so you go for 48,000. And then the bit rate, 320. Uh, I record in my OBS at 320, so there's no point of me rendering higher than that, even though I can. Uh, you know, it, nothing, nothing's going to change, so choose that at 320. So multiplexer, uh, I have it set to MP4, and then stream compatibility is set to standard. 
For captions, we're not going to do anything because we don't have any captions. For effects, I don't really choose anything. And then metadata, that's totally fine. We don't change anything. General, you can import into project, use previous, use proxies, whatever. I'm not touching any of that. Right, so these are my personal Premiere Pro export settings. I've been using them for like year and a half, two years now. If you want to see some of the example videos or even this one, you can see how sharp it looks pretty good if you got this far into the video make sure to also drop a like and if you haven't already seen my previous videos i do a lot of ai content recently so check it out right here and like i said i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in the description below anyway i'll see you guys in the next video peace out and have a good one bye bye